make everyone again participate in it and again that we were here to thank you and go very much. I said best wishes and the all good things really for now and to everyone. Okay, thank you. And now again I talk briefly about the a teaching of the gracious kindness compared to teacher Brother Shakyamuni as we follow me according to my capabilities that I share. And which is as a reminding of to all of us, we all need to practice. We all need to meditate, practice it. Practice until we reach the enlightenment. In the Buddha teaching, our friends say that when you start practicing that, you should study, you should contemplate, and then you should practice it. The purpose of the studying and, and purpose of the contemplating, the principal purpose of the studying, principal purpose of the contemplating is to practice and or meditate and actualize the realization. That is the really principal goal to get enlightenment. Enlightenment is not something that we are coming from outside. It's a self-discovery. That's what the teaching said. So in order to do that, again, we should really correct our beautiful motivations. The sibling, eliminating motivation of the joy and the appreciation. Same time, kind and compassionate thought. And what the teaching always said, those great masters always said, vastness motivation. Motivation, thinking of all living beings. I like to remove their suffering, the difficulty, the troubles, whatever they're going through, and bring them joy, peace, happiness, and ultimate goal to everyone reaching enlightenment. I like to support. For that very reason, I'm going to reflect on the teaching of the Buddha, and I'm going to pay my sambhavi, and all the great masters. Also, really, the teaching said. So, therefore, we should always restand in beautiful motivation of the joy, appreciation, bodhicitta, and then Vedayana motivations. Those are known as the three Vajra status. Vajra form, Vajra song, or Vajra mind. Or sometimes, I mean not sometimes, another way can explain perfect place, perfect the teaching, perfect the retinues, perfect the teaching, perfect times. Those are the five perfect states. So, see everything as in a pure land of the Buddha Vajra Sattva, Gurupa Emma Sambha, or the Buddha Shakyamuni. The all inhabited beings are totally waked up to the ordinary states. That means free from the duality, free from the all negativities, grasping, habit patterns. And when those are removed, the enlightenment is right here according to the teaching. So really bring up those old beautiful motivations. Even we stay in the darkness of the ignorance and sometimes many times the kind of duality, always struggling, but at least for 15, 20 minutes, if we like that ourselves, that is very beautiful, special. We're making something really different, making difference to ourselves to benefit to the beings. Therefore, again, listen to all beautiful motivations, these beautiful motivations. Then with that, I just also thought to talk, again, continually talking about the four renunciations. All four points that will reverse the mind or change the mind. And this is the anchor of the practices, foundation of the practices, cornerstones of the practices. Those are all the great masters of the practicing lineage, mentioned as one voice. It's so important. And we like to make our heart more softer, tender, more gentle, more thoughtful. We should have this thought, this thing. This is, uh, we are reflecting, realistic way things are. It's not mystery. It's not Buddhist dogma. Or it's not just a kind of new phenomenon. It's the reality of this related truth, way things are. So to see the truth as truth, that's a wonderful according to the teaching. It's really wonderful. That's it. There's nothing higher and deeper, better than see the truth exactly as it is. That is good. In many other ways, it's really good. So therefore, we go, we go again, continually, and one after another, we went, first, this precious human body, or eating endowments. 
Then second we discuss a little bit about the impairment. Then we are talking now of the cause and effects. Effects are inevitable. Or simple way, karma is inevitable. Well, karma is, of course, a very popular word. Word in the West, and everybody knows, you know, that what is karma? Actually, it's action, activity. Whose activity is one's own self, individualist activity. When we do the activity, actually, what in a gracious teacher, Buddha Shakyamuni said, we can divide it. There are so many activities that is numerous, actually, but we can summarize it out into three activities. And positive activities, negative activities, and neutral activities. And where this positive, where this negative, where this neutral are coming from, it's no other than the one's own mind. When mind is positive, we need to reflect on the verbally and physically, that is known as positives. Because mind is positive and activity is positive. When mind is in the negative, when it's reflected that negative, into verbally or physically, that is known as negative. When mind is a kind of neutral state, neither, no, not in negative, nor positive, or neither, or either. We are just a neutral state. Whatever act is, neutral activities. But this time, what we need to do for the practitioners, we activate the positive energies and avoid the negatives, mind. And even the neutral, we should change to the positives. If we do that, that is known as practitioners. What are you practicing? You are practicing, I, was, if I use a simple word, good heart. We practice good heart. We practice the principal nature of our own mind. I spoke yesterday too. I mean, of course, it's not something I spoke and that's it, you that. But you know all it. We all know something. We receive so many teachings from great masters, often, and also always making those things. We know that. But sometimes our own knowledge and thoughts are kind of left on the shelf or in some way in the midst of the, our conceptions. Not always and kind of like lighten up those things. So today, in a way, I'm going to lighten up or try to kind of like, uh, kind of like shimmer up those qualities, those, those our knowledge, the understanding of the previous thing that's kind of lost in the midst of the so many different kind of intellectuals and thoughts. And so I'm trying to really bring up that. That's what I'm going to talk. I mean, it's not just I'm talking because that's what gracious teacher, the Chakdi Dunyurumudi told, and as well as Buddha's and Modi Sattva. So follow it and the footsteps of their voice, I'm just talking. So now, again, as he said, what this, this positive and negative is where is the best. It's all in the emptiness mind. Mind is empty. Emptiness mind is best. How that is reflecting? It's coming out as interdependent coordination. Cause and the conditions are Activating that energy coming as a used word magicalities. Or is it coming just like on a display? But when it comes to display, we grasp it, we cling it, we hold. Most living beings hold. Then we twisted the display of the emptiness mind. Mind, then it becomes whatever it, it makes effect on the relative world. Relative world. So, therefore, we have to, since we are for a long time, we will be in, the, in this relative world, or we will be on this illusion world for a long time. Therefore, it's so important to know what things, what good, what things to, to avoid it what things we should apply or keep that or gather that. Then that's what the teaching said. 
avoiding all the negativities, all those unvirtues, and as well as avoiding all uh, unvirtues and gathering, performing the virtues. That is what we really need to do. do. So when we do talk about the unvirtues, I mentioned yesterday too, I listed, again I'm going to talk briefly about that. I said the unvirtues and, and uh, what's called, the forbidden unvirtues or restricted unvirtues or ruled out unvirtues. Those are the two unvirtues. First of all, the unvirtues. That is the natural unvirtues. That is also everybody knows whether you are believing, believer or not believers. This first unvirtuous is just a, is a natural virtues. Everybody knows. And again, I told a little bit about that. What are those? And that I listed yesterday, but I didn't make clarification kind of precisely and kind of in a way like right. Right. And so far, or what, how the greatest kindness, companion, teacher, both are divided. Three by the body, four by the speech, and three by the mind. All together is ten unvirtues. Ten unvirtues. All that. These ten unvirtues, is where is it coming? As I said, is coming from negative emotions of one's own mind. It's not coming from outside anyway. One's own negative emotions are producing these ten unvirtues. So we are, or each of us, are the dual creator, fabricator of these ten and virtues. Virtues. So what is those neg negative emotions? Three principal negative emotions, which are known as, again, Greek teacher, Buddha Shakti, I mean, use the metaphor that you all, we all know. Poison. Three poisons or five poisons. Three poisons are the ignorance, attachment, anger. Above that, two more, arrogance, jealous. Arrogance and jealous are a combination of ignorance and attachment and anger. Then there is more in the teachings of the Dharma city. There is six principal emotions and two sub-emotions, so forth. I mean, there is many, but those are the gross root emotions. These negative emotions are, the, if we're talking about the for noble truth, these are the, the, the cause of suffering truth. It's cause of suffering. They are the cause of suffering. They are cause of troubles. They are the cause of the, all the difficulties, challenges we go through. That's what these three poison or five poisons are. When they are reflected, then it becomes the Unvirtues. These unvirtues are the suffering truth. They, whenever that activated through the verbally, mentally, uh, when it's men mentally existing and when that mentally, the energy, what that, that physically, verbally comes, it creates suffering. It creates suffering, the one person who is reject or ejecting that, also suffering said. When it's reflected to the others, it will create the suffering. Any difficulty, challenge. This is not the, just the Buddha's teaching. We are talking Buddha's teaching. I have to believe this is true evidence on the related world. But that's why many times in these modern times, men made sufferings. Men made sufferings. This is what the fundamental way this comes from. The cause of suffering, truth, negative emotions. Poison. It, that's why it's called the poisons. It's poisons. 
He poisons one's own self, he poisons the others. Then this created the karma, that immediately that created the karma. According to Buddhism, in the Buddha teaching, karma. That the cause of the suffering what we got, draw itself, and when it reflect outside, that created the karma, but that not ended there. Now it is a ripple effect that will be coming. Continue for a long time. What that means? According to Buddhism, it coming so many lifetimes. And of course, you all know the Buddhism believes rebirth. Life is not just the first time in this world, nor it is not last time. This life is a life. A life. We continue from the from the beginning, and we will go continually to the to a far long way, unless we stop this roller coaster of these negative emotions. Then we can reverse the current teaching. We can change the modem, the move we can change. Otherwise, it will be continuous. Now, by this three, now we go a little bit again because I, I just thought <clears throat> to a little bit again this. Uh, uh, this uh, ten on virtues. Even though you, we all know, I mean I know a little bit, and you all know, I'm sure you all know this, but I'm just uh, reminding, again, we talk, talking, because these are our practices. Practice means, we, we, this is the practice with mindfulness. We have to be mindfulness. What things to be avoided, what things to be gathered. Being mindful is, is a symbol of the practitioners, practitioners of Buddha teachings, mindfulness. More calm, more gentle, more peaceful, calm body, calm speech, and calm mind. Or gentle physical activity, gentle verbal, and gentle mind is the one really known as a follower of the gracious, kindness, compassion teacher, Buddha Shakyamuni. So therefore, again, I just go over this, really of all those things. And now, three by body, and this is taking three, three uh, non-virtues of the three by body, taking lives, and uh, uh, taking the belongings of others which is not permitted, and then, and sexual Misconducts. Sexual misconduct is for the order known is a sexual conduct. But lay practitioner is sexual misconducts. So those are the three by the body. Why now they are like I said like negativities? Naturally, because they are completely absolutely based on the negative emotions. It's based upon the ignorance. Is best upon the attachment, is best upon the anger. For example, when we, if somebody is taking lives of others, either in the, in the teaching said it has maybe three different principal reasons. First, taking lives of others may be based on the anger. And with then, anger is the front runner, along with the support by the ignorance and the attachments. So that is such as killing what? Revenges or killing, killing the animals, uh, enemies, sorry, enemies. Those are principally front runner of the, of the killing that is, uh, emotion is anger. Then there is a principal runner, uh, when we take the lives of others, there is a principal front runner is the attachment. Also we care. Because we like, like their skins, or we like their wealth, we like, this, uh, we like to eat this meat. We like to eat. Or we like their hairs. Something kind of desired, then again, is based on the anger and the ignorance, and we care. We take the lives. And then, another one is through the ignorance. According to Buddhism, killing of ignorance or taking life of the ignorance, such as sacrificing. Thinking is good to sacrifice one's own purpose, one's own benefit. Oh, I like to sacrifice that or that. 
kind of think that's a good. But life is so precious to everyone. There is no difference at all, according to Buddhism. Everyone is loves their lives. Every last breath they love. One time I read, read on the newspaper, said what's called the famous uh, Apple uh, founder, Steve Young, I think. He said even the individual knows that they're going to heaven, but still they like to love their, these lives. Even they, they show they're going to the heaven. Heaven, but still everyone loves their lives. I thought that's really very true. True. Life is so precious to everyone. Therefore, taking that with the negative emotions, that is negativities. But that is not ended there, as I said. That creates the karma. That affects, goes on and on, on and on, and on and on, so many times, so many lifetimes. So therefore, being as a practitioners, we try to be more, more kind of avoid those things as much as we can. That is good according to Buddhism. I'm talking about the Buddhism, that in the Buddhism, that's a really good. And then the next one is the Dogan, again I go briefly about that. And then taking belongings of others without the permitted by others. That is known as taking what's called stealing, I think, simple language, stealing, stealing. And according to Buddhism, there is three different ways of stealing. Stealing by the powers, powers, stealing by the forcefulness, then stealing by the sneaky, hiding behind, sneaking. Those are all stealing, not just stealing or that. Or the, the first one is a string taking blunders of the power, such as the kind of very powerful man, powerful kind of lady or whatever man say, openly says, oh, I want that, I like to take that. Without it, kind of any information from the others, just uh, take that by the power. Power, that is known as stealing by the powers, taking blunders of the, by others. Others without permissions. Then stealing of the robbings. That I think robbers, robbery against us, kind of come crush and kill and take things. Things. Or rob things. That is called by the like robbery. Or kind of like just like as robbers. Robbers. And then sneakily stealing, and that is what best upon again. <clears throat> Sneakily, you're still. And when these people do that, what are those? Again, the fundamental, the intention is anger or jealous or arrogance or ignorance. Those are the reasons. Or attachment. Those are the fundamental cause to think, take things. Things from, from other individuals without any permissions. Or the, uh, yeah, permissions. So that is really about the, again, the stealings. That's so why again, we should, those practitioners have to be trying to be really avoided. Again, in the Buddha's teaching, of course, this is more again, uh, uh, what's called, more like a, this uh, ruled out on which was, there's a measurement of the taking things of that you can, how much you, if you take things without the permission, what that will, uh, uh, considering is unwanted, is a small amount. I mean, small amount with our own kind of desire, attachment, or anger, and like to hurt to others. So, whatever reason, take that. It's just a no matter what, whether the size is big or small. I mean, it's really even small family teaching. So, those are all known as like students. Then, sexual misconduct. Also, by many times, of course, is through the attachment or the desires. But also it has a many times that happened with anger, with jealous, jealous. And then of course all is supported by the ignorance. Ignorance is behind and not knowing clearly exactly consequence, then we act. So it's ignorance. Ignorance is behind 
but the sexual must control all sexual control with the attachment, with the anger, with the jealous, or like some kind of like to hurt someone and therefore I'm going to do or something kind of like this is all known as as again negativities. Negativities. So this is the what uh, of the three uh, un, uh, virtues of the body. And the four by the speech. And those are the lying, slender, and gossip, and harsh speech. Harsh. Again, this is all based on the negative emotions. Ignorance, attachment, and anger. Anger. And actually in the Buddha's teaching of Primagini, there is uh, small lies, medium lies, and the big lies. Small li lie is just a very small smoke, and I'm like, you all know, I'm not going to talk that. Small lie is just small things, and maybe some small reasons you lie. That has nothing big things, but it is just small lies. And the big lies is some kind of bigger purposes, and making some stories and all that things, and you deceive the others. That. And the very big lie, lie is then known as, in, in the Buddhism teaching, it is, you kind of activated even yourself, you kind of elevated, or I am have great realization. I am such a distant that thing. It's a kind of lying about the realizations and trying to, to uh, receive others, other and take the advantage. Or ex explaining about your, real, your own realization, pretending big realization and making up those things. Those are known as really lies. And whatever it is, lie is deceived, means is changing the mental state of others, and then you you kind of like convince them and take the advantage. So that is a lie. And then trauma, then is a cylinder. Cylinder is again, there is a few different cylinders. So called openly cylinders and the sneaker cylinders. Sneaker, openly cylinder is again a powerful man, kind of a tree, two friends. The powerful man like to be split and then they said openly right in front of them, oh you said something funny things to, to this person who said and you shouldn't do these things. So kind of some openly using their own authority powers, making the story to the reality, trying to break the bond or the friendship of others. Others, those are known as openly slanders. slanders. And then sneaker, sneakers and slender is again making stories behind the scene. So many students, again, is based upon the negative emotions. Ignorance, attachment, anger, or jealousness, whatever it is, is combination of that, and then making kind of all different stories that even those one person who knows this is not true, but I like to talk these things, make this kind of, really make this, uh, that like to hurt the others, or make something, for their own desire, and that is a salamness. And it's a the next one is heart speeches. Heart speech is then making heart speeches. Heart speeches is again, is such as like kind of like uh, what's called uh, openly talking about the mistakes, the errors of the individuals, their family side, or father side, mother side, or their features, their. Uh, education, uh, if they kind of like uh, wealth, whatever, openly, openly kind of, kind of making the hearts, making those uh, heart speech. Those are known as heart speeches. So, again, that is based upon no matter whatever it is. It is anger or it is attachment, that is, again, it is negativities. And the next one is the gossips. Gossip, and the gossip is again based upon all these negative emotions, but mainly maybe is based on the ignorance. Maybe not the front runner of the anger and all these things, but is more kind of ignorant based of that. And then you make all different kind of like stories or the gossiping, all these things. And then this modern time, time, this all watching so many times. Like, I, I mean, that's my, my thought. 
watching so many times of the all those who are looking to the internet and looking to the to the television is all looking to come just rest for so much time. And what we gain is nothing really gaining too much things. It's all negative emotions. And all the, and just it's spoiled our mental, spoiled our energies. And that and you know, watching all the time kind of spending that that is just uh, I think it's really kind of form of gossip. So that's really just uh, the all gossip is again based upon upon the negative emotions. Then Three by the mind, nafsi, is the covetousness. Or something that person belongs to others, Yo, whatever that is, person belongings of the others, you're trying to really kind of capture that, or grab that, or have that, or even you didn't get, but you kind of, you're just kind of obsessed with uh, thought on at that again and again. Those are known as covetous. Commentious, nothing, nothing. And then nothing is a negative thought, violent thought, like to hurt to others. Again, with negative emotions, anger, attachment, or ignorance, like to that. That is nothing. And the next one is last one is is non believers and not believe to anything, any belief things. Just a kind of close to every knowledge and understanding, and just only yourself thinking. Thinking or your own person, what you see that kind of completely really stopping, have no believer, believing anything. And therefore, again, that means there's no believing not in the past, believing not in the future, believing not anything, then it just kind of like completely blocked. And that according to Buddhism, it is really won't grow, develop anything. So it is a really very kind of uh, very weak, but very deep negativities that could hear that. So those are all known as non-virtues or natural non-virtues. Ten non-virtues. Now I just have listed to you the ten virtues. I said yesterday is the opposite of that. But I can, again if I talk more can find clearly that opposite of the taking lives is Giving lives to the others, if you have the capability, giving lives of the others is, is a virtue. And the opposite of, and the give, stealing or the taking belongs to the others, if you have the capability, giving to some to the others or doing generosity, that is a virtue. And then, as well as, and, and uh, opposite of the sexual misconduct is avoiding sexual misconduct at the same time maintaining the, some duty ethicals, ethics or moralities. That is virtuous. And then the opposite of the lying is speaking truth. Truthful, that is. And it's uh, opposite of a slender bring harmonize, bring together, together, harmonize, more friendly, in, create the environments. That is positive, that is virtuous. And it's uh, opposite of the harsh speech, soft speaking, gentle speaking, polite speaking. One great teacher, Buddha Shakyamuni said, when you look to the sentient beings, Look with the eye of compassion. Look to the sentient beings and smile with face, with compassion. And speaking softly, gentle, polite, and respectful. Fully. Those are all known as, known as virtues. Opposite of the heart speech. And opposite of the gossip, speak meaningful. See meaningful. And then in the Buddha city of imagine instead of gossiping, do practice. Join the mantra. Join the Om Mani Pemme homes. Om Vajar Sap homes. Om Vajar Sap homes. Om Om Homes. Om Homes. Vajar Guru Pemma City homes. Join mantras. And enjoy, relax. Gossip brings so many unnecessary garbages in the mind. 
And all the energy the channels are filled with, with the gossips. And gathering and gossip all over the world. What we were going to gain? What really we're going to result? What we get? What we can do? Instead, there is a kind of cultivating love and compassion, joy and peace, and chanting some mantra. It's more meaningful to ourselves or one's own self to the others. So those are opposite of the four negative by the mind, op op opposite of op four virtues of the, of the speech. And then the opposite of the comatious, more grateful, more contentment. Happy, what do you have? Be joy, enjoy. Not saying, or this individual, not saying, but in a English, comedy. Comedy mentality is very poor. Never enough. It's like kind of hunger ghost. Really, just be happy, enjoy what you have. Of course, you can have more of that, but we shouldn't be kind of like we had that comatious kind of thinking, I need that, I want that, I want that. This goes on and on. This ego clinging is always hungry. We have to put some kind of bricks to that. Feel happy and joy. Joy with that. Nothing. And then the opposite of the uh, violence thought. More love, more kindness, more body gentleness. And opposite of the wrong, uh, opposite of non belief. Belief. There is past, there is future, there is 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 the present and there's so many things that even we don't see everywhere i mean we don't have to know everything but there is i mean there is so many things in the maybe 700 years ago every world is in a way closed everybody thinks maybe that's the only the world almost everyone thinks but now whole world is open how many things here whole around the world even now the scientists are exploring so many galaxies so many universes. What is, I mean, that's all open. There's so many. We shouldn't close completely that. Open. Relax. Develop. Progress. Inner value and knowledge. So those are known as ten virtues that we should always gather. These ten virtues, what I said today, is Ten virtues of the nat nature, ten virtues. And also what I say, also said, non virtues, ten name virtues, is nature. Everybody knows. Whether believer or not believer, most people I mean, know. But that they know is bad. Even animal world knows. If you cheat, we deceive them, they will know. And if we kill them, they don't they don't like. It. I mean we know no, this is this universally proved. So that's what really said that. Then the ruled out uh, the non uh, virtues. Virtues I talk really tomorrow, I think. Because today our time is uh, kind of like over. And so I talk about over, but of course you all know really I talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Thank you very much everyone again thank you. for your participation and thank you. Okay. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you everyone. And now we do again meditation.